Hello, right, working back on the Fiesta once again. For those who saw the last video, I've been sort of roughly prepping the inside of the car. I have just dusted it all over in a coat of Rattle Cam Primer. And then on the back, the inner, inner arches look a lot better. They're still not 100%, but I haven't got the time to uh, prep it all properly. Ideally, it needs to be painted out of the gun, uh, but I don't have a compressor here, and I just need to get this kind of up and running, back out for the show season this year is the aim. So much so that I've started my list on the wall. So I can start ticking those bits off um, and chomping through all of the odds and sods that I need to get done to get it back together, up and running, tuned, drive shafts, brake lines, finishing off the wiring loom, painting the bonnet, um, painting the interior and all that other jazz. So there's a plan, there's a list, let's rack through it and uh, go from there. Finally ready for some rebel cans. One day I'll be able to afford like a Gavin Pink paint job on this thing, but fill in. Good old trusty Alfreds. Got a pair of today. Okay, so that's the first coat on. Not too bad. The colour match is crap, but what do you expect for cheap rattle cans from Halfords? Uh, and that's all the boot done. Just got to move the cage back and just dust in in front of it. But that should do the trick for now. And we can throw everything back in. And start, start getting it ready. Go get it. And start wiping off things off the list. I think I've welded up all the holes that I needed to. Fit anti roll bar is up next. Just taking the rear exhaust hanger off because I no longer need that and it's a little bit crusty anyway. A few moments later. So that's that all removed. A bit of red oxide and a cure rust and a lick of black paint. That'll be good as new. I've also cut this plate which needs to have a fold in it but the plan is it's going to go around about here and that'll be my heat shield for where the side exit boom tube comes out just to protect the paint a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's going to end up, once I've trimmed the little lip, folded that over, it's going to end up looking at something sort of like that. And obviously I'll mop polish everything up so it's got a nice bling bling shine to it. Pop rivet this all on, that should do the trick. And then obviously cut this back at a slash cut angle to match the angle of the seal. Oh, that's pretty sick. It's gonna be killer. Of course, all of the brackets are powder coated and ready to go. And um, this is my Big boy 18mm diameter anti-roll bar that I got off for of, uh, Zach came off the Fiesta turd, so it's a bit beefier than the one I had on there previous. Okay, just whip the wheel off because I've noticed how close the drop link is to my stub axle bolt. So I'm gonna have to try and rethink this because that's too close for my liking and it's probably gonna bind up if it swings up and down. So, brilliant. Okay, so I just flipped the anti-roll bar and uh, that's given me a little bit more clearance. Still not massive, but it's better than it was, it's not touching. So I'm gonna 
tighten up the other side and then jack this side up and see what it does through the travel, how close it gets. Well, that's rubbish, it hits on the bolt, so I'm gonna have to take this off and work out either uh, getting rose joints, moving the pivot point back, drilling it out, and um, that'll in turn stiffen up the anti-roll bar, or I might uh, offer up one of Orbital Mo Motorsports anti-roll bars on it and see if that gives me any more clearance. But yeah, it's one of those things. Put stub axles on the back beam, they said. Okay, so annoyed that my anti-roll bar doesn't fit. I'm gonna either look into getting some rose joints for it or Joe's offered uh, to lend me his Orbital Motorsport anti-roll bar. It's like a blade one with adjustable holes. So I'm gonna offer that up actually and see if that works. And if so, I'll get myself one of them. Um, in the meantime, I'm kind of annoyed that everything I was trying to put on the car isn't fitting. So I'm just gonna paint in the letters on the tires because I'm getting something to do. Proper lame, I know, but I quite like the look of it. Boulder Sport race car. Like proper wrap, right? it in. So this is for Martin's yeah. Mark III drag car Fiesta. Fresh off the press. The world's biggest, heaviest in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, man. Got eight mounting points. Twelve. Twelve mounting points. <laughs> he didn't want the tapered end tanks. No, no, he didn't he want He wants it to look tanks. kind of symmetrical. Yeah. Got to do a little stencil for it and a little cheeky sticker. So it sort of just looks like a giant AirTech one. Yeah. Oversized. Where did, where did you get the core from? It's a vibrant core. Nice. Um, originally come from BTM Performance, I think. Three yeah, mil no. pipe, three mil wall pipe, nice and thick. Should be able to clamp anything on that. Yeah, man, that come out well. Mm. It's going to dwarf the front of his Fiesta. I know, mate. It's going to feed the front of his Fiesta. Mm. I don't even know how he's going to it. Still, Gibbo's top trumps that. I was going to say that's going to be as. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think it's far off the size of Gibbo's. Yeah. yeah. It's the de depth of it though. This is mm. a thick old lump. Yeah, 90 mil thick. Gibbos is only a skinny one. Yeah, but it's high, it's tall, mm. isn't it? Hence the cut headlights. Yeah. It's awesome. Another feather in your cap. Yeah. That's it for another video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out the merchandise in the link below, uh, Cartel site, and uh, also the latest Classic Ford magazine. As I said, I always write updates on the Sierra and the Fiesta in, in them. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. Mm.